Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this look, we look at not only at a game that truly pushed technology, but a game that was a game changer that opened up so many programming avenues and a new way of looking at the Sega Genesis, the system that was pushed and still pushed today. The game in question was Gunstar Heroes, and Treasure was the company to bring back to life the already struggling system losing to Nintendo's Super NES at a rapid, rapid pace. 1993 was a year that we all look forward to 32-bit gaming, coming soon with the Sega Saturn and Sony PlayStation. Nintendo didn't see it that way as they finally caught up to the Sega Genesis in the United States and really gave it to them with superior games left and right. It seems Sega had no answer but to focus on next system with the Saturn. Then out of nowhere and barely any marketing at all, I see a review of Gunstar Heroes in the Electronic Gaming Monthly giving them all nines, stating that Sega still has it and still has what it takes to compete. Renting the game from Hollywood Video, I played with a friend non-stop until beating the game over and over until nightfall. All I could say was, we were impressed and shocked this game was even working on the Sega Genesis with his visual trickery. Gunstar Heroes was developed by Treasure and released by Sega in 1993 for the Sega Genesis. Development actually started at Konami in 1991 as the team was very interested in the very powerful Motorola 68000 microprocessor. Rejected by Konami and unable to embrace new ideas in gameplay, the team left Konami and started Treasure. Even Sega passed on the game and wasn't until smaller game development with McDonald's Treasure Land Adventure was released in 1993 where Gunstar was approved by the good graces of Sega. Working on both games simultaneously, Gunstar Heroes was released as their first worldwide release to huge success. The game was praised for its advanced visuals and frantic action that still to this day looks great with their stylized designs. Believing that the processor for the Genesis was more powerful and user-friendly in experimentation, Treasure and their programmers from games like Contra 3, The Alien Wars, were able to extract sophisticated graphics and effects that was unheard of on a Super NES, especially for their boss battles in the Sega Genesis. With the team going with the approach, anything goes, the team was able to create and throw in almost everything they wanted. Instead of thinking it's never going to be done and it's never been done, they thought why not be the first. The game still an unknown almost never was released in the United States. It wasn't until Max Senor of Sega of America approved the game for its frantic action and stylized graphics. A virtually unknown in Japan and America, Sega only ordered 10,000 copies in Japan and in America was much smaller due to an unexpected loss factor with a new IP. The reception was huge and overwhelmingly positive, making Sega to backtrack and produce more, selling over 70,000 in Japan and over 200,000 overseas as a critical hit. With the visuals, bosses, frantic action at every corner, Gunstar Heroes was a household name and every system wanted a game like it. What I remember is a bit of renaissance of the Sega Genesis that truly started with Gunstar Heroes. The games to come were not just fillers until the 32-bit was able to come to shore, but programmers who were just as shocked as players were and pushed themselves to push the system as hard as possible 
with games to come like Batman and Robin, Castlevania Bloodlines, to another frantic crazy action title that may have been just inspired directly from Konami Contra Hardcore, all released in 1994, pushing the system to unknown heights once again. One of the best games I have ever played in my lifetime and still gets better and better every time I revisit is a game anyone and everyone should try. That's it for this look into the game that put Sega Genesis back on the map and ended its run on a good note before the failed Saturn. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and great. Take us out of here and I will see you all next upload.